In this video, I will consider one numerical on Norton's theorem. Determine current through one ohm resistor using Norton's theorem for the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. Here we supposed to calculate one ohm current through one ohm resistor that is I1. So this circuit consists of dependent sources as well as independent sources. Here 6 volt voltage source and 1 amp current source are independent sources whereas 2 I1 is dependent source. It is current dependent voltage source. The magnitude of this is dependent on current I1 where I1 is the current through 1 ohm register. So now thus if the circuit consists of dependent sources, we need to calculate three parameters. That is we need to calculate VOC that is open circuit voltage or it is also known as Thevenin's voltage VTH. Then we need to calculate short circuit current ISC. Then we need to calculate the resistance or the Norton's resistance Rn. We need to calculate these three parameters. In Norton's theorem, the branch in which current is fi finding, we supposed to open that branch. Now let me call this as AB branch. So to find current through one ohm register, we supposed to open this branch. Now let me redraw the circuit here. This is 6 volt. This is node A and here I will open this. The current source is, comes in parallel as it is. That is 1 amp and there is a 5 volt 5 ohm register is connected to 2 I1 here. Let me draw 2 I1 as it is first. This is 2 I1. So I made AB branch open. So now here we can see that when AB branch is open, current I1 will become 0 because no current flows here. I1 is equal to 0. When I1 is 0, then here we have 2 I1. So I1 is 0 means this is 2 I1 is 0. That is voltage source is 0. As we know, if voltage source is 0, it means voltage source is short circuited. So there is no more dependent voltage source because I1 is 0, it becomes 0. Therefore, it is short circuited. Now, instead of using 2 I1, let me short circuit this. This is short circuited. So, in this loop, the same current 1 amp will flow in this direction. So, here the voltage across 5 ohm register is 5 volt. That is nothing but Vb value. So, here Vb is equal to 5 into 1 that is 5 volt. And here we can see that Va is equal to 6 volt as 6 volt voltage source is directly connected to VA. So now we'll try to calculate VOC. Therefore, now I can say VOC is nothing but open circuit voltage that is voltage between point A and point B that is VA minus VB which is equal to 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 volt. So VOC value is 1 volt. Now we'll try to calculate ISC that is short circuit current. So short circuit current is nothing but, so here the terminal AB is open. If we short this, now let me short the terminal AB. When we short the terminal AB, now the current will flow through this shorted path. That current is known as ISC. That is nothing but short circuit current. So when I consider short circuit current, Again, this voltage source will appear as it is because here the current is flowing now. So now it is no more open circuit, no more short circuit. Here we supposed to consider the voltage source that is 2. Here it was I1 but now here it is ISC. Now I will take it as ISC. This is how we supposed to consider in Norton's theorem. Now we'll try to calculate ISC. So here we have two loops. Let current through this loop is Y. Let current through this loop is ISC. So this is nothing but ISC. I will apply loop analysis to find current ISC. So here we can see that one amp current source is common to two loops. So if current source is common to two loops, then that entire loop is known as super loop. So in super loop, first let me analyze the current source that is 1 amp. 
so i can write 1 amp is equal to the direction of y and 1 are in same direction so i can write y minus isc call it as equation 1 so so now let me apply the kvl to super loop so once if we analyze the current source we should assume that this 1 amp is removed from the circuit if we remove this from the circuit we'll get only one loop that entire loop is known as super loop that is a b c d e a is known as super loop that is apply kvl to super loop that is a b c d e and a therefore 6 is equal to the current flows like this the voltage across 5 ohm register is 5 into y we supposed to consider the currents independently that is 5y plus here we have 2 isc so now let me call it as equation number 2 now solving equation 1 and 2 we can easily find value of y and isc that is solving equation 1 and 2 we get get y is equal to 1.143 and is is equal to 0 0.143 amps so thus we found isc value that is 0.143 amps so we found voc and isc now we'll see how to calculate Rn? Therefore, the Norton's resistance Rn is equal to VOC divided by ISC. That is, here VOC value is 1 ohm, 1 volt divided by ISC is 0 0.143. So, solving this, we'll get Rn is equal to 7 ohm. So now we found all three parameters. Now let me draw the Norton's equivalent circuit. That is Norton's equivalent circuit is shown below. It consists of a current source IN in parallel with the Norton's resistance Rn in parallel with we suppose to connect the register in which we are finding the current so here 1 ohm register that we have opened at the beginning that we suppose to connect here that is 1 ohm here i n value is Norton's current is nothing but the short circuit current isc that is 0 0.143 0 0.143 IN is nothing but short circuit current ISC and RN value is 7 ohm so now let me calculate the current through 1 ohm register that is I therefore I is equal to now I will apply current division rule that is total current here this is the total current it will divide here part of the current will flow here I will call it as I1 and part of the current will flow through one ohm resistor that is I. Therefore, I is equal to total current that is I n into opposite resistor R n divided by R n plus 1. This is a formula. Therefore, I is equal to I n is 0 0.143 into R n is 7. So, I n is 0 0.143 into Rn divided by 7 plus 1. Solving this, we will get I is equal to 0 0.125 amps. So, this is the current flows through 1 ohm register and it is calculated using Norton's theorem. Thank you for watching.